Welcome back, fragrance family. It's your friendly neighborhood humble collector, and I'm here to talk to you about a fragrance that I got my nose on today. Uh, Gucci Guilty Absolute. Now this one was released earlier this year. I think it was released last month in February, but don't hold me on that. Um, it's a leathery, earthy, green, animalistic, I think. I think <laughs> um, woody fragrance. Top notes include leather, mid notes include patchouli and cypress, bottom notes include woody notes and vetiver. Now, when I read the, when I saw the reviews for this, I really didn't think it was going to be for me. Gosh, and I, I, and uh, and I'm I'm correct on that point. Right off the bat, I get the leather and the woody note, man. A little bit of that patchouli too, man. A little bit too masculine for me. It comes across as kind of like a pet petroleum gas smell. You know, like something you would smell in like the steel working uh, fields and like, you know, I, it's a little bit too masculine for me, man. I, I generally like that fresh and clean and citrus type fragrances, but you know, I wanted to try this because, you know, I've always, I've always been the type of person to try something and then rate and then, you know, if I don't like it, hey, I don't like it. You know, but it it's okay. It's a little bit too masculine. It 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 seems to me like it should be from the 80s. It's a great performer though. It's a great performer. Um I get two hours of projection on this with six to seven, maybe almost close to eight hours of long longevity, man. Because I just sprayed it on my hand just now, and I sprayed this on, I sprayed one spray at three o'clock this after, about 3.15, three uh, o'clock this afternoon. And I mean, it was still there. It was a skin scent and it was barely on there, but it was still on there, you know? Um, yeah, it's a no-go for me. It's a little, it, 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 like I said, it's too masculine. Uh, I see an older gentleman rocking this the hell out though, my, man. I, I, I see this as like a 50 and up fragrance for that older distinguished gentleman. I think that this could be a signature scent of like any like rich old miser, you know, uh, 50 and 50 on up. Yeah. So it's, uh, what do I get this? I give this, I give this a 3.5. Yes, I didn't like it. Okay. But I don't usually like leathery, masculine and woody fragrances, man. But that doesn't mean it's not a good fragrance. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to be a hypocritical reviewer like that, you know, just because, oh, just because I hate a fragrance, you know, just because it doesn't speak to me, that makes it a bad fragrance. No, no, this is a really good fragrance. It doesn't speak to me, okay? It doesn't speak to me. If you're all, if you're about that life, if you're about um, woody, masculine, and leathery fragrances, man, you know, then go ahead and give this a whirl. You know, but for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on this man. So Gucci Guilty Absolute, I give you a 3.5, you know, you're a good fragrance, you last long, but you're just not my cup of tea. But don't take my word for it. Go to your local Sephora and and give it a whirl. You know, ask for a little sample, you know? They gave me a little sample like this and you know, I'm glad I didn't have, I'm glad they do that because I'm glad I don't have to buy the whole bottle, man. You know? Okay, so that's Gucci Guilty Absolute. 
I'm the Humble Collector. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you see fit. I love my humbled crowd. You guys rock. Keep, uh, keep subscribing. Keep looking at my videos. Hopefully I can win this fragrance idol competition, man. I'm still, I'm still in there. I'm not going away. Okay. Much to the, to the dismay of, uh, some people. <laughs> I'm here to stay, man. <laughs> Alright, I'm the humble collector. That's the truth, and I'm sticking to it.